Hello everybody, it's Barbara and welcome to Warrior Friday. All right, are we feeling like a warrior? You know, I've been saying this for the last few weeks. Our job as light warriors right now is to maintain and be calm. Um, we need to know that the light is within us and we can be there for other people, but we are not supposed to be out healing the world. Um, we're supposed to be making sure that our cups are full um, so that if somebody asks, we can help them. Um, but right now, we need to maintain and be calm and, and getting enough rest and taking care of ourselves, eating healthy, getting some exercise. Okay, so calm, maintain, self-care boundaries that's a big one too boundaries all right let's get started um i used to start with a card on warrior friday and i haven't done that in a while so um i asked my guides last night okay what am i going to talk about and they're like yeah you're going to go get a card okay so out of the spirit of the wheel deck this is the back of the cards um this is linda iwashima um we are using the Harvest Moon card because we have the full Harvest Moon coming up in two nights. Um, to honor the Harvest Moon, I have a new soap and I should have grabbed that. I'll do a different um, short video because my Harvest Moon soap is amazing. Oh my gosh. I can I can still smell it. It's, it's back there cooking and it's just, oh. I want to eat it, but I know it's not going to taste as good as it smells. Anyway, so the Harvest Moon card is card number 24. Um, 24 is a very sacred number. Um, it's 12 times 2. So 12 pairs. And I'm not going to get into that today, but let's just say 12 pairs is a, um, it's a very sacred group of people. Um, 24 also reduces to 6. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 is the number of love. It's a number of, of humanity. Um, and this card says turning point, preparation, and gathering. Now, a lot of people out there online are saying, you know, this is Red October. And so this fits right in. Red October is a turning point. And it's us preparing for something. And if you can't feel that we're preparing for something, you need to put your shields down because holy cow, the energies of preparation are so intense. We know there's something coming. We don't know what it is necessarily. We don't know when it is. We don't know where it is, but we know there's something coming. Um, so this says... Harvest Moon teaches us the art of preparation through the act of gathering. And you think about it, this is the time where um, we're, we're maybe preserving the foods from our gardens. We're preparing, if you're in the Great White North like I am, we're preparing for winter, even though it's still autumn. You know, you're, you're doing something with the, the pipes and the air conditioner and, and your camper and, and your, your gardens. Um, this card signals a time of abundance. Remember, we just harvested. Um, your hard work has paid off. The harvest is now full and ready for gathering. Decide how much to enjoy, share, and store for your future. Now, sometimes this means we're growing the things, excuse me, ourselves. Sometimes it means we're going to the farmer's market or we're going to the grocery store. Um, but we're, we're preparing for winter um, or whatever's coming. Um, you may need to gather knowledge, courage, or even rest for the road ahead. Then begin preparation so you won't be caught off guard by the changes coming your way. It is all part of your personal evolution. Those born under the harvest moon are very good at looking after others but tend to deny their own needs. A lot of people are like that. I had a massage therapist in my shop yesterday 
who was talking about how busy she is these days. Oh my gosh, I'm so busy and you know, I'm working till seven o'clock at night and I never have time for myself and blah, blah, blah. And the only reason I'm in your shop is because I had a cancellation and I had to run in quick and get what I needed. And, and I said, so what about your boundaries? And she just looked at me like, yeah, I don't have any of those. We have to have boundaries. I didn't used to have boundaries. And what happens? Oh my gosh, you get worn out because you're giving your energy away. We have to have boundaries. We have to be able to say no or no, I can't do that today. Just like having a schedule. If you're a massage therapist, you have a schedule. Where do you have an opening? You decide what your start time is, what your end time is, and what days you work. Outside of that is your time. If you choose, choose to extend your hours, that's on you because you either you can't say no, maybe you need the money or, you know, whatever reason, but it is a choice. And once you have boundaries, you need to stick to them. I used to answer my phone and my texts and my messages 24 seven. Um, I can't do that. I need to sleep and I need to recharge my batteries and I need to eat and I need to go outside and do stuff. Um, plus I need to take care of this entire building. Um, so I had to say, you know what? My boundaries are 10 AM to 5 PM and I stick to those and life got so much better. I wasn't exhausted all the time. So we have to have boundaries, whether it's something like a schedule or if it's with people. Um, we're allowed to say no. We are allowed to say no. Another example, I have the opportunity to go to downtown Minneapolis in a few weeks. I don't do that. I don't like Minneapolis. I'm from Minneapolis originally. I have no desire whatsoever to go to Minneapolis or any other large city. And I said, no. Oh, really? Yeah, not for any reason will I go to Minneapolis. There's absolutely no reason for me to go there. And there are people who love Minneapolis. And you know, I love the Minneapolis from way back in the day when I lived there. When I go there now, that's not the same city and I don't enjoy being there. I do not enjoy the energy there. And I get to choose, okay? It's my choice to have that boundary. So. One of the things we all need to do is look at our lives and go, okay, where can I claim my power back? Okay. So this card, even though it's about preparation and the harvest, it's also about having boundaries. You know, when I had my farm, I had huge gardens and I had a, a pantry room in the basement. It was floor to ceiling shelves and that baby was full. But the thing is, even with something as simple as that, you choose how many hours a day you're going to work putting up tomatoes, salsa, green beans, um, all of that stuff. And you have to draw a line and say, okay, I can only do this until this time. And then I need to recharge my batteries. Okay. So this is, this is your preparation card, the harvest moon, which is Sunday is this is all about preparation. Do you need to know what you're preparing for? Yeah, sometimes, but not necessarily. Just make sure you're prepared. Whatever that means to you today. Maybe it's emotionally, maybe it's physically, maybe it's food, maybe it's toilet paper and hand sanitizer. Maybe it's really cool soap. Just saying. Be prepared. Ah. I heard on one of my, one of, one of the other videos, be prepared, not scared. I like that. We don't need to live in fear. Okay. That's not what I'm advocating here. We do not live in fear, but be prepared. If you can buy stuff now, maybe you're saving yourself money later when the prices go up, you know, like dog food. I'm only saying that because Althea is laying right down there. So be prepared, not scared, gather, 
do whatever you have to with your harvest and um, boundaries, okay? That's your message for today. I love you guys. I send you blessings of love, light, peace, joy, happiness, success, divine health, and all good things because I know you are worth it and I know you deserve it all. Mwah. Namaste, my beautiful soul family.